Hi, Martin here. I did a uh, comparison of the CSF 3-core radiator compared to the Champion 3-core aluminum radiator. Now I'm doing a follow-up as a review of the installation and the performance of the Champion 3-core aluminum radiator. And I'm going to show you some highs and low points of uh, the radiator. Alright, here we go. Okay, my biggest complaint I guess would be right here. See this? I had to cut this piece of the uh, fan support out because when you open this radiator cap up, this is going to hit your fan support. So to clear and get your radiator cap off, I actually had to get out a grinder and grind that eyelid out of there. Throw a little paint on there. One of the things I really like is the uh, 22 millimeter bung that they welded inside on side of the uh, tank here. And as you can see, I got a thermal switch there, which is part of my Taurus fan conversion. That's a two-speed thermal switch, and that screwed right into there. Now this is what I had used the thermal switch in originally, what I made, and had mounted here in the upper radiator hose and this is the hot side uh, the radiator fluid comes out of here and then goes across the radiator um, so the thermal switch that I was using worked real well um, being it's on the other side the fans gonna kick in late um, I want to see how that turns out this summer so technically I would have liked to have seen the uh, the bung that was welded on the tank actually on the uh, passenger side tank. I think that would be a better deal there. Um, Alright, one of my biggest complaints would be the uh, adapter they give you for your transmission line. This, this would be for the lower one. You'd screw this into the radiator and then supposedly you're going to hook your quick connect back up. Well, this is way too big. There's no way you can get the quick connect back on. So I had to cut it off, slide the transmission line over this, and I put a clamp on both sides of this ridge. That'll give you a good seal. Um, this was something you just have to do. Um, and I also, on the hose, I flared the inside of the hose because when you slide that hose on here, it, this is like a dam. I mean, you hit this and you can't get over it. So flare the inside of the hose and they'll help you climb up over this ridge, okay? And then you can clamp it on. Um, I recently did talk with the president of Champion. He called me up personally and uh, we talked about this. He, realized, he knows about these issues and um, he's actually working on it. It's going to be fixing this. This neck is going to be coming out so this ear should clear or they're going to put a radiator cap on here with no ears on it. Um, that's another way to do it. Um, another problem I had was on a factory install this neck would be out here further and it does have a very long tube for the overflow tube here. Well, since this is in further and they do have a long tube in there, you cannot get this fan back in without removing their neck, this little nipple that they put in. Well, unfortunately, I had twisted it off. It came. So I had to re-tap and drill this uh, one here and put another I put a steel one in because that's what I had. So had this been where it should be, you wouldn't have to remove this fitting and that eliminate that problem. Now, as far as performance wise, I think the radiator works great. Um, I think it actually does outperform the CFS 3 core radiator. Um, if you're looking for a factory install, I mean you want to drop that thing in, bolt it on and be done with it and not have any worries, the CFS gives you that. I mean you put that thing in there and you'd swear it was a factory radiator. The Champion one, 
you got a few mods to do, like I pointed out. Um, the, the grinding here, the transmission line. Um, there was also a little bit of tweaking on the underneath the radiator support here. You got the bolts for the condenser, your air conditioning condenser. I had to tweak them ever so slightly to get them to line up just perfectly. Um, other than that, I think it's a great radiator. I mean, it's only, you know, barely over $200 and it's all aluminum, TIG welded. So if you don't mind doing the mods, it's a great buy. If you don't care for all the mods, then I, I'd probably go with the CSF. But uh, he promised me, the owner did, that uh, they're going to be making some changes to this. So thanks for watching.